And I'll add a puppet like that. And I will make it uh, force possession so that I can just um, go into play mode and it will just work. I'm going to start running around immediately. Uh, maybe we want some set camera angle like that. We just want it to be like that all the time, which it is some of the time. And then you go towards the edge and then it goes to the default camera and you can use the right stick and all that. And then when you go back into the area that the camera can see, it swaps back, which is cool. Um, for like some some things like if you uh, just wanted a special little vignette camera vignette isn't the right word like a little cut cutscene type camera view of something you can just stick a camera there and it will just work uh, so it's a cool feature but not necessarily what you want so how do you make it not do that and just stay on this camera I shall tell you like now-ish so if you have a switch or any wire plugged into the power and you run off the screen then it will just stay on that camera anyway um, and it won't kind of use the the kind of default of um, switching back to the uh, default camera you can also uh, just put it in a microchip and then you can run off like that. Um, so I think basically when it's just in the world like that, then um, uh, it works in a particular way and tries to be useful and assumes that you want to have that camera view when the puppet is in that camera view, uh, which is cool. And uh, yeah, we'll automatically change of stuff. I'd like to give a big thank you to my supporters who made this tutorial possible. Jack Power, Hyper Dream Surfer, Martinity DK, X Cantaloupe, Rev Player, Mobius DT, and MDKD99. Thanks everyone. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these daily tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can support me through the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.